polynomials. The first thing we're going to look at with polynomials are factors and roots. We see that the factors of a polynomial are the roots or the x-intercepts of the polynomial's graph. For example, we have f of x equals x plus 5 times x minus 1 times x minus 4 squared. So f of x has the following factors x plus 5, x minus 1, and x minus 4. If any one of these factors were to equal 0, then you would have 0 times some numbers, but since anything times, a num anything times 0 is 0, then if any one of these factors is 0, the entire output would be 0. So we find that if x is negative 5, that would make the output 0. If x is 1, that would make the output 0. And if x is positive 4, that would make the output 0. Thus, we have roots at x equals negative 5, 1, and 4. Well, let's go and double check this with the graph. So if we graph our function, we get what you see on the screen right now. And in fact, we do see that we have roots at negative 5, positive 1, and positive 4. And that matches with what we found out in our example. Let's look at another example. We have g of x equals negative x squared times x minus 3 cubed times x plus 4. So this one has factors of x squared, x minus 3, and x plus 4. Thus, if x is 0, a positive 3, or a negative 4, then the output would be 0, meaning we have roots at x equals negative 4, 0, and positive 3. Again, let's double check this. And we should see that we have there we go. So in fact, we do have roots at negative four, zero, and positive three. Just try to adjust the graph so it's a little bit clearer. We can see what it looks like up top. I'm going to stretch this out so the roots become more obvious. There we go. Negative 4, 0, and positive 3. So if you have not already, make sure that you know this statement here that the factors of a polynomial are the roots, they're connected with the x intercepts of the graph. Because when we have the factors, we know what values of x we can plug in to make the output 0, and that's what a root is. Well, let's look in particular for the behavior of a function around roots. And we look and determine that through the exponents on our factors. The exponents of the factors, which is also called the multiplicity of the roots, tells you the behavior of the graph around each root. If we have an even multiplicity, multiplicity, then the graph bounces at the root. And we'll look at that in just a moment. If we have an odd multiplicity, then the graph crosses at the root. We're going to look at our same examples. f of x equals x plus 5 times x minus 1 times x minus 4 squared, and g of x, which equals negative x squared times x minus 3 cubed times x plus 4.